is sometimes when I'm eating out at a restaurant, yeah. I think about whose mouth this fork was in last. Oh. And oh I feel God. like what? way, way connected to them no. just instantly in that moment. So no. we could play a fun little bonding game called Pass the Fork right now. <laughs> I've got it. Or I could just ask okay. what's on your mind. I don't trust you to only put that in your mouth. Yeah. 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 Say we do the, the what's on your mind bit. Fine, party poopers. A little start, <laughs> I guess, with Brooke and just ask the simple question, what's on your mind, Brooke? Well, I was at the grocery store the other day and I was checking out and I, had, of course, purchased some wine. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Oh, shocker. And the cashier goes to me, are you 21? <laughs> I mean, not to laugh, but that's cute, right? No, I was like, oh. She doesn't realize. I'm oh, like, yeah. Oh, I'm flattered. Okay. I'm flattered. Oh, and I'm like, yes, obviously. And oh, I let her know that I was born in 1980. Okay. And I am just feeling good yeah. at this point, right? <laughs> because you're already two bottles of wine deep <laughs> that you drank before you even checked out. So no wonder. And then she says, well, you look great. Oh. But adds on to it. Uh-oh. Have you heard of Trenton Owen? And I'm like, What's true? That? Oh, that's what I'm thinking. I'm yeah. like, oh, is it some talent agency some for fancy. women who look way younger than they actually are? <laughs> mm-hmm. A TV model yeah. agency? Yeah, and so I say, no, what is it? And she goes, oh, it's this, yep. it's this heavy-duty retinol cream mm-hmm. that will take out your fine lines and wrinkles. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, excuse me, what? I thought you just, but you just... <laughs> I was just young a second ago. A I second ago, young. I was young. And now, here we are. Oh. So did you buy the, the retinol cream for yourself? And I or? looked it up, and I've been reading into the... It's like, really trendy if that makes you feel better. So yeah. wait, did she set you up to put you down kind I of thing? I don't know, but oh. if anybody's using it, if they could let me know if there are any oh. bad oh. side effects. <laughs> <laughs> because you, the next one, you want to be a real compliment. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you know, I haven't oh. gone down the Botox lane yet. So maybe yeah. this is better. You don't need yeah. it, Brooke. Look at your face, guys. Look at the See, video. I want to believe you. I want to believe you no, just you like really I don't. wanted to believe the cashier oh. when she said, are you 21? But it was... It's all a lie. Yeah. Oh, you got time, bro. I mean, it couldn't hurt just to buy a little yeah. bit. Okay. <laughs> Jose, what's been on your mind? Well, if you guys don't know, my dad lives out of town, and recently he came to visit me for my birthday, which is today, by the Yay! way. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Happy Thank you. So, we, uh, we brought him to the radio station, and he mm-hmm. got to meet everyone and hug everyone. He's a big hugger. Oh, yeah. Which is why I'm a big hugger. I Sweetest love man ever. He really, he really is. is. And he didn't remember everyone's name, uh, but he remembers all the faces. So, yeah. he, like, knows who everyone is. Mm-hmm. Right. But there's one... One person that really stuck with him the most, and he definitely remembered his name. Oh, who's that? That That is the program director to our radio station. What? (laughs) Because I have a feeling I know why. When he was talking to our boss, our boss casually mentioned to my dad, well, by the way, Jose, you look so young and great. You know, he told him... (laughs) You look very. You're you, have you're southern, like, you're good. you have the southern accent. Sorry. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. You have the accent, okay, so and, are... and just so you know, Jose is your dad's name as well. Oh yeah, that's a good thing. Sorry. Yeah, my yeah. dad's name is Jose, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, as yeah. well as mine. So he's Big Jose. I'm Little Jose. So he pretty much said, "Big Jose, you look great. Oh my goodness, like you just you, you're you're tan. You look energetic and young." Mm-hmm. My dad brought that up. Like oh. six times throughout yeah. the weekend. Oh, yeah. I don't blame him after I had this experience yeah. with the cashier. Oh, think of you. Because oh. I bet Jose's dad uses that retinol yeah. cream and looks fantastic because of it. But like we would just be like a lull in conversation sitting there and he would be like, you know what? I really like your boss, Jose. Yeah. When he is a nice guy. When he told me that I look young, he made me feel so good. He seems very good at his job. Oh, that's uh. good. And I'm like, See, he's great. <laughs> I know. I'm like, no, he is great. And then another time, he's like, you know the the boss of yours. Will you tell him I said hello? I really liked him. Yeah. Okay. Do you remember when he called me young looking? I'm like, yes, Dad, I do now. But the rest of us who like gave him hugs know, and like took pictures. photos with him. I talked to him for 20 minutes yeah. about yeah. cars. He still, about, add, he still adds an Estabrook's name. Yeah, yeah, about cars and what kind of gas mileage they're getting. Yeah, he remembers Jeff because you were last time he saw you. You were like a uh, uh, assistant producer of the show. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, Dad, that's. Jeffrey, like from the name, and he's like, oh, never good. heard of him. Oh, no. good for Jeffrey. Oh, he's so nice. I'm proud of him. Anyway, oh, wow. next time, just compliment him, basically. Yeah. 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 Like yeah. Okay. At, if you want to get on my dad's good side, which a couple of my friends did too, give him a hug. Okay. Tell him he looks young, and forever you will be his best friend. You know what? That's the same for me. 
Yeah, okay. <laughs> My dad and Brooke. <laughs> give, them, give them hugs and show them love. Thank you very much. Let's go to someone who actually has some self-worth on this show. Alexis, <laughs> tell us what's been on your mind. <laughs> So I'm coaching high school track, you know, this season. That's right. Okay? Oh, yeah. Super fun for you. And you know, it's been like a goal of mine to, you know, I want them to like respect me, like me, yeah. think I'm cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's not pathetic at all. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and I ran track in the past. That hasn't really impressed them. Mm-hmm. Working at the radio station, not impressive to them. You do no. know that when the people go back to high school and try to be cool, that's not yeah. cool, right? <laughs> It's too late. I'm in deep. Yeah, I'm yeah. in deep. I'm still <laughs> trying. I'm still trying. Got it. And there was a big track meet over the weekend we were at, okay? okay. And mm-hmm. high schoolers racing, but also some pros run pro runners okay oh, big and one. there was a race going on it's like a distance medley relay and a pro team set the world record in oh, it awesome oh, right wow. so it was a huge deal everyone's going crazy the kids are like on a high they yeah. think it's the coolest thing ever they're witnessing a world record oh, happen yeah, yeah. Don't forget that moment well guess who's friends with those runners oh, oh, right. me oh, wow. and guess who is staying at an airbnb with them for the weekend no. yeah me oh, all way. right so did they you finally get the cred that you yes i did the cool crowd. so i go up to them after the race and i'm talking to them and they're hugging me and we're just chatting and the team sees it oh and the teenagers oh. are like wait is that alexis yes. with the real yes. runner <laughs> yes and that was my moment i oh. got it wow. and I Oh, it finally yes. became cool. Yay. I don't know how long it'll last. Yeah. Um, it ends right you? now when you go on the radio and start bragging. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Well, they don't listen, so I actually Yay. might be good. Yay. It's not cool. You just got to bring the real runners with you everywhere you go. Oh, yeah. oh, trust me. I'm trying to get them to come to practice nah. ASAP. Oh. Yeah. Maybe, but, maybe they'll let you prom queen this year. Yeah, I can only hope. <laughs> I like how all three of us just really want acceptance this week. Yeah. yeah. That's true. Um, anyways, that's true. it was a big moment. That's yeah. dope, though. Good, good for you, you. Alexis. Good for them. Yeah, good for, oh, yeah, good for them. No, yeah. no, no. This is all <laughs> Alexis's win. <laughs> Alexis, you did it. Thank you. All right, Jeffrey, what's on your mind? So over the weekend, I hosted a charity auction. Oh, and that's right, man. That's I've, awesome. I've worked this event a few times. Yeah. But this year, the organizers decided that they had to add a second person to host along with me. Okay. okay. And so most people support. would take offense to that. <laughs> like, what? I don't know that Am I would, not enough? Okay. You have to add more? <laughs> but honestly, for me, I'm more like, oh, my God, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody else can talk, please. Yeah. So they hired this local celebrity uh-huh. who used to be on TV, but now he does auctioneering full time. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And before the event, I asked my producer, like, hey, can you help me come up with a few, like, funny lines? Mm-hmm. Like, just a couple, like, jokes that I could toss his way? Uh. And apparently, our producer has worked with this guy before because we were writing some zingers oh, for this God. dude. Oh. Just coming after him oh. about oh. how auctioneering isn't a real job. Oh. <laughs> And how we had to move the venue downtown this year because it's closer to the unemployment offices where he collects his checks. Oh, Jeff. And I'm like... Bro, this is like a a roast. Yeah, Yeah. it wasn't a roast. It was a a charity auction, Jeff. Well, I was... He knew, though. You guys... I was worried. I was like, man, producer, are are you sure that these are going to hit? They feel Mm. like... A little mean. hard. They yeah. are hard, but you like went over it with him. And before. our producer's like, oh, yeah, no, 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 don't worry. He's a really funny guy. He'll roll with the punches Got there. It. So Got the it. night of the auction, I let the first singer fly, and he looks stunned. <gasps> oh. He's, he's smiling, but his eyes are like, didn't ex- what are you doing? <laughs> Wait, okay, you so didn't you did tell him? I didn't tell warn him. him that I was going to roast him. <laughs> like, I wanted it to saying. be natural in the moment. So he didn't Jeff, know he was going to be under attack. Oh, my gosh. I kept saying you went over it with him, right? No. Jeffrey, he's oh. not part of our show. He doesn't know that every moment is a yeah. moment to belittle someone else. Well, he should. He should know that about me. And oh, I don't no. turn back. I hit him with another no. one no. saying the only reason he even got this gig is because of his famous dad. Oh. Did you say that? I did. No, you didn't. <laughs> and Jeff. he gave me the craziest side. I Meanwhile, he's not firing anything back at me. He's a professional. He is just (laughs) swallowing it all and like letting it eat away at his oh, ego. No. How did the night end with you two? I, did well, he punch you? He didn't punch me. I feel like the worst one was when I started passing around a tip jar, telling everybody to give generously, because again, this is the only way he makes money. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. So, that's yeah. the most offensive thing you did. Well, I, he made a lot of money. You should thank me for it. That tip jar was full. Actually, okay. vicariously, you did a good thing. Yeah. By the end, I did feel like a little bit guilty because yeah. he wasn't prepared for it. Did you talk it. to him? Did you apologize after? Say, hey, man, I hope that was cool with us. Like, no, he didn't want to talk to me at the end. Oh, okay. Lord, but yes. you know what? Right. Today I feel like like he's a seasoned celeb. Uh-huh. He should be able to take it. I mean, I don't think therapist. that's that's how celebs work. I don't <laughs> think you get them at all. Okay, yeah. well, I'll, I'll go down to the unemployment office yeah. later and I'll go oh, apologize no. in person. <laughs> Sorry, dude, for ribbing you all night. He's listening, trying to give you a second chance. Right? <laughs> I mean, he 
He's, it's funny, but he's crying. Yeah. I can oh, tell you that. No. Yeah. Well, text in 78592. <laughs> you can tell us what's been on your mind. Oh. It's Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning.